Hello again everyone, this is Randy, your Saw Machine Man, and today we're looking at a Bernina record, 830, which may be one of the best all-time machines ever made. It's definitely, in my mind, the best Bernina ever made. Uh, this little guy was on the market from 71, 1971, back in the 1900s, back when they made awesome machines. From 1971 to 82, it was the flagship of the Bernina Empire, and uh, this was something they were really proud of, and rightfully so. They've made a lot of real nice machines since, but this is going to be my favorite because it's analog, and of course analog means no flashing lights, no computer cards to plug in, no bells and whistles. It's mechanical, and mechanical's good because mechanical is usually repairable. This one's very nice because it's easy to service. You know, you can get access to all the areas. Everything pops up and snaps open. And you pull the lever and this pops off. And everything pops out. And you can have it disassembled in less than 30 seconds. And go through it A to Z. Clean it. Oil it. You know, blow it out. Polish the hook. This had a little burr on the hook. This is a customer I'm servicing for her. But uh, my customers say, where can I get a nice Bernina? Well, this is a nice Bernina. There's all kinds of Berninas out there. But this is the one I would recommend. You're going to spend some money because nobody's going to want to let one of these go. If you find one like this one, this one has the carrying case. It has the book. It has all the accessories. The accessories alone retail are probably three to $500. There's like, you know, 10 of them at 40 bucks a piece. There's $400 right there. So <clears throat> the last one of these I sold uh, to a lady who flew down from Cleveland, Ohio. And I think she paid eight eight fifty something like that for it. I imagine right now they're probably knocking on about $1,000 to be... A nice one has been well taken care of, and uh, this one has. You get one that's immaculate, you're gonna probably spend a thousand bucks. If you get one for a thousand or less, you've you rang the bell, you scored. So, uh, you know, it's got uh, the built-in stitches, the decorative stitches, the built-in three-step zigzag uh, for a stretch stitch. It has uh, a lever reverse, built-in buttonhole, three three needle uh, position. You know, left, center, right. Actually, there's four of them, but you can set it three needle position. It's got the drop feed. And it's got the adjustable pressure on top. The only knock against these machines is they've been known to, uh, there's a gear up here that makes the pattern cam rotate. And every now and then they'll get a crack in them. It's rare. I've seen maybe two in 50 years and they're easily repairable and replaceable. So it's no big deal. It's not what we call a uh, tragic flaw. It's not going to kill the deal for you. So if you can get one of these, uh, be my guest. They're out there. They're getting hard to find. Most people have them. Do not want to let them go. They'll hang on to them, give them to a family member or somebody they really care a lot about. But if you find one online, make sure they know how to pack it properly. These came uh, from the factory in the red case with the uh, foam front and back. It packs nice and tight. But then you have to pack all that again and isolate it inside of another big cardboard box. If you buy it online, buy it from a certified, bona fide, absolutely high rated seller who knows how to sell these and how to pack them for shipment so if you can get one locally good for you but this little guy is one i recommend it's the bernina 830 record is very smooth very precise 15 class system and it'll solve a storm and be very reliable for you and get all the sewing done that you need to get done bernina 830 buy one you'll you'll, you'll thank me